welcome back to Conrad's Corner. This is USC's only news radio talk show. My name's Conrad Wilton, and it is about the 1030 mark. That means it's time for the interview with Chris Chan from the USC Austro School of Dentistry. You're a third-year dental student, Chris, and pleasure to have you on Conrad's Corner. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today, Conrad? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You're all dressed up in the, uh, what do you call those things? Shrubs. Shrubs. Very cool. Very cool. And I see those folks around the, the dentist school walking around there. You just you pick them right out now. So you guys are, of course, in the business of smiles, which is always awesome. And speaking of business of smiles, you're putting smiles in the faces of kids in the surrounding neighborhood. <clears throat> this was the American Dental Association's uh, Gives Kids a Smile Day, uh, where you provide quality dental care to kids of low-income neighborhoods around USC. So what was that experience like? I mean, how did you like working with kids and all that? That's right. It was uh, the, actually the 10th annual Give Kids a Smile Day for um, the USC, otherwise now known as the Austro School of Dentistry of USC. Um, and what we did is uh, we spent uh, one morning um, at a Fauché Learning Center. It's not too far away from here, a few blocks from here. And we just provided um, some screenings for some kids and also did some uh, oral hygiene instruction as well, too. Interesting that there's a, a statistic from Roseanne Mulligan, who's the chair of dental public health and pediatric dentistry. She just says that 73% of children living in Los Angeles have insufficient dental care. That's a pretty high statistic right there. Are you a little surprised or was that kind of expected to hear that? Well, um, you know, Dr. Mulligan, uh, her statistic that she gives 73%, I, I think it's, it's open to some an, an interpretation um, when we say that they have insufficient dental care, what that means is that for us as dentists, we want um, our patients, including our pediatric patients, to be coming into us once every six months. Right. So, you know, just because you go to the dentist like once every three years, that doesn't count. <laughs> so, um, again, the basis for um, us to maintain people's oral health care is for them to come to the dentist once every six months, you know, for us to treat a problem as soon as it arises. And so 73%, to be honest, doesn't really surprise me, given the fact that L.A. has a very big population and also a very diverse um, population. There's uh, many immigrants and children here of recent immigrants, and they may not understand the importance of dental care or have the access uh, to dental care. Right, and so that's why it's good to provide that to them. And uh, from what I read in the USC News article and also the Daily Trojan, a lot of kids were just very happy to get this. This was something new that they were pleased about. Right, exactly. So, uh, you know, again, the basis for us is all about prevention. You know, there's a reason why we tell you to brush your teeth twice a day, floss once at night, and that's something that we've ingrained. We've done our best to ingrain it in the public because that's our commitment is uh, protecting the public's oral health care. Right. You know, so for a lot of these kids, for them to actually see, you know, dentistry from that side and for us to come in and have fun with them, you know, play games, teach them um, what is good food, what is something that's beneficial to your oral health, what you need to do to maintain your teeth. Um, I think it was a great experience for all the kids that were able to attend. And you were dressed as a molar, I believe, while others were dressed as tooth fairies, so you had a lot of fun with that. What was it like to be walking around? Like, <laughs> just... well, you know what, uh, to be honest, um, when I was in it, I, I was also carrying a gigantic toothbrush that weighed about 10 pounds. And I, really? Yeah, it was, wow. it was huge. And so um, <laughs> I had the kids uh, brush me <laughs> you know, with the giant toothbrush and the bristles were kind of stiff, but you know it was fine. And uh, you know how sometimes during tax seasons, when you drive around on the on the uh, city street corners, you see those guys that are dressed up as like um, the Statue of Liberty or Uncle Sam, uh -huh. flipping uh -huh. those signs and doing crazy stuff. Yep, that's that's kind of what I felt like that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. But just for a day, just for a day. yeah, just for a day. <laughs> I see. Cool. And, and a lot of times, did you work? Would you see the smiles and the faces of kids and all that? I mean, what, what does it say to you as this is the business that you are going into, the business of smiles and all that? Is that why you chose going into dentistry? Is that because you just enjoy? fixing smiles and all that, making sure they're straight and clean and beautiful. Right. Is, is, that, is that the main reason or is there another? Part of it, yes. Um, you know, another part of it is, I think it's this ability that dentists have to um, heal people. You know, someone comes into your office, your practice or the school and they have some very bad pain. You know, toothache has been described as one of the worst pains you can feel, you know. And so they come inside, we give them treatment and we're able to change them instantly. And I think that's a really big factor. Also, you know, a lot of times um, a person's uh, teeth, the way they look, the way they appear aesthetically, 
can help a person's self-esteem. Absolutely. So That's someone huge. coming into a practice, you know, get doing some minor work or maybe some more major orthodontic work, the fact they're able to change a person's self-esteem and their outlook on life has huge dividends for us as a profession. And dental care is a big deal. If you don't take care of your teeth, a lot of folks think that they think of everything else except their mouth for That's some reason. Exactly right. And yet you stuff food in it all the time and all that. You get coffee and everything. And if you don't take care of it as a kid, then you're not going to have those values and those those that hygiene as an adult, and that could lead to some serious issues. That's that's exactly right. So what we like to do is um, with kids, we like to do something called establishing a dental home. And what that means is that we want kids by the time they turn one years old, one year old to have already seen a dentist and to build that relationship with a dentist or their pediatric dentist so that throughout the rest of their lives, they go back to that dentist regularly, once every six months to get checkups, to get cleanings and whatnot. And by doing that, you know, not only are you establishing a good routine and good habits so that for the rest of their life, they're going to be taking care of their teeth and watching what they eat and whatnot, but you're also um, helping them to maintain self-esteem by preventing future problems that could happen just because they didn't see the dentist. Was this your first May Community Outreach event that you've done with? I uh, know, to be honest. Um, you've done this, this a lot, huh? Yeah, the, the school, uh, especially uh, USC School of Dentistry, is huge in uh, community service. We have, we, we have all of these events all the time. Uh, there's something called Queen's Care that we get rotated through. It's a nonprofit org, and we set out in dental vans. We get put in dental vans, actual mobile vans through donations, and we go out to schools. Another thing that's available is also called Mobile Clinic that's completely student run occurs once a month. And then uh, finally, there's also the UDA organization, which I'm a part of. And we do a uh, one monthly clinic strictly uh, from you know private donations and a faculty. And um, it's completely student run. We do it in LA County or Orange County. And once a year, we also do an international trip. So my wow. freshman year, I went to Panama. Last year, I went to Belize, doing dental care there. And this year, in about a month, I'm going to Colombia. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I think if dental care is bad here, then I can only imagine what it's like in Colombia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have dental care in Colombia? Um, I haven't gone yet, so I'm not able to say. But last year uh, and the year before that, we went to Panama and Belize. There were populations out there that didn't even own toothbrushes. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's about changing um, the public's uh, perception and mindset to get them to brush and floss every single day to make good decisions and good habits in the long run that will protect their oral health. Right, and this is not this, this is more than national. This is international, as you just said right there. Exactly, exactly. But obviously we want to keep things domestic, you know, and cater toward the communities that surround USC. Of course. I mean, you have to have it manageable somehow. Exactly. Right? You can't take on the whole world, but exactly. you can try. You can try. <laughs> so very, because you're, you're a veteran when it comes to community service. So this is like, you're finally getting a little bit of media recognition for it. <laughs> so, but you were quoted in the Daily Trojan, so I'm sure that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was, it was very uh, good. Did they quote you accurately? Just I curious. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah? It, it was good. Yeah. The, the writer, <laughs> the writer actually is a cousin of uh, one of the dental students at the school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. So he has a lot of ins. But yeah. anyway, Chris, thank you for coming on Conrad's Corner and have fun at Columbia. Thank you for having me, Conrad. Okay, my pleasure. When we come back, we have some top news on Conrad's Corner. Find out what's going on with the Facebook hacking scandal with the USG student government. What is going on with that? That's Conrad's Corner. Top news, top stories coming your way in just a couple moments. Stay tuned.